Yeah. What are you for? We're for the safety of the woman and the safety of the child. We're educating you guys because you get sex ed, right, in school. So this is a part of sex ed. I'm a nurse. I teach anatomy and physiology, and the heart beats at 10 days. Okay, so it's a real baby. It's separate. It has a separate heart. That's what I tried to tell them. They were like, "Hi, you know, no, but my baby, like, I'm this big, and I need to know it's this big." Mm -hmm. And yeah, it is that big, but it still has finger buds and toe buds, and the heart's already beating. So a lot of people don't want to. I mean, that's probably a ten weeker, right there. That see the rib cage? There's rib cage. There's finger buds. There's toe buds. There's all kinds of things, and the heart's beating. So we just want to extend your education more to know what happens if you are pregnant, what better choice to make. That's that's why I'm here. I don't know why anybody else is here, but Wait, so like I heard some other protesters like against abortion and they were saying like they didn't care about the child, it was just wrong in the name of God. That's not you, right? That way what? They were just like they didn't care about the dead child baby, they were just like uh, it's wrong in the name of Jesus. Well, I am a Christian, but that's not how I look at things. I look at some, because I have lots of friends that have had abortions and have had trauma still to this day, a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them have trauma still. And I always go out of my way to get them involved with post-counseling trauma. And so they can deal with it and have peace and be okay and start over. You know, God God has mercy for us. That's what we're trying to do. That's why we're out here. The education about... Uh, biology. Yeah, yeah. they right. teach that in there, and we right. want to make sure women know what's actually so happening in their them. bodies. We don't I would them never. That oh no, but it is murder, yeah. though. That's a yeah. problem. It's yeah. murder. Yeah. It I is. I tried to tell the pro I was like, I mean, like it's murder either. Like, if you're for it, yeah. it's it is. And God has forgiveness for people. Okay, in all aspects. I mean, people sin all the time, so it's not the end of the world if it happens. But it's a really sad, traumatic experience. It's really sad. I like I like that you're showing this because like that's just what it is. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad. Um, it seems like we got a lot of people that might not quite understand what it truly is. I think a lot of people think these are doctored signs, but they're not. I, you know, I've been through nursing school. They're not doctored. That's what the baby looks like at 10 weeks. You know, and then they grow from there. They do. I appreciate you being out here. Did you get one of our flyers? Are you good? No, why don't you take that? It's all kinds of interesting information in there. It really is. There's a lot of people So don't just take her word. Do your own research, too. She'll figure out what's right. Do your own research, too, okay? Yeah. Anatomy and physiology teacher, do you teach that? Oh, I teach English. But yeah, you know but what? anatomy and physiology is Actually, I have a very master's in different. That's, so it's that's really awesome. Really but that's not true to what you're teaching the kids, ma'am. You're lying to the kids. I'm not teaching the kids anything, actually. No, you're out here teaching them right now. You can't mix church and state. Ma'am, you're teaching the kids right now. Yeah. This is not church and state issue. Yes, it is. They get sex ed in there, ma'am. They get sex ed in there. It's 100% church and state So, no, this is an easy transition to what they're being taught in there. I am sure sorry that you seem to mix those lines up, but it's really making it a problem. We just don't agree, ma'am. We absolutely don't agree. You're, Hi. You're really right. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna ask a question, but there were like a bunch of people around, and I just like didn't want to go. But um, how do you feel about like race? Like, if it's welcome, like, mm -hmm. like if a twelve-year-old girl was raped and she was pregnant, you know, like how do you expect a twelve-year-old to give birth to a child? Right. Like I don't understand. That's a super traumatic and horrible experience. Okay, the rape is horrible. I actually have a twelve-year-old in my home group, my my prayer group. That is 12, and she was raped by her stepfather, okay? And she's pregnant, very pregnant, okay? But to keep, because that's a sin what that guy did. Raping her is a complete sin. He should be locked up, right? And for that little girl to go through a procedure that could make her sterile, could take her life, and is taking the life of the baby, that's heaping one sin upon another sin. And it's going to be a hard road for that kid, but counseling loving, supporting the family that actually goes to church with us, they adopted this kid. So they're supporting her medical, they're supporting her emotional needs, they're supporting so many people, things. Yeah, but what about the people who like don't have that kind of house? Like what about the girls who like 18, living right. on their own, don't have a family, right. don't have friends, they're living like in like a dumpster and right. they have to give birth to a child in a dumpster because they don't have anything else. Right. Well, there are organizations out there, hopefully, because like when we're on the street, because we go everywhere. We don't just go to schools. We go all over the place. Um, 
let people know what's going on. Hopefully someone would reach out to us, our website, something, and there's so many organizations that would help that, that person. Um, and I would even help that person, personally, myself, because I don't want to see this poor girl going through another traumatic experience. And the baby inside her, yes, conceived by a horrible traumatic experience, but being killed, being an innocent that's killed, Ask her what she would does, be though, really sad. How much care do you provide? Oh, after, we have, so you asked the Todd over there. Do you know how many babies? kids what he's do do fostered after? and adopted? Todd has seven kids. Okay, he's oh, fostered and adopted. Oh, my mom, when my mom was 16, she got pregnant, and her mom, uh, when she told her mom, her mom told her that she had to get an abortion. And my mom wanted an abortion because her mom wasn't involved in her life at all. She was living on her own right. um, at that age. And, Scary. Yeah, and she like had nothing else to do, so she got an abortion so that, because there was no way for like that child just to stay in life. Like, there was yeah. no way for that child to have a good life. And yeah. it's too hard for her to give birth to her child and to give her child away. Like, that's harder yeah. for her to have a connection with her child right. and to give her child away than it is to abort the child before she has a connection with it. And I think that's how a lot of people view it at that point in time because they're really scared and frightened. Yes, take it. Here, you got that one too? Two. Um, so I think a lot of people, that's their, their idea right off the bat because they're so scared and nervous. But the problem lies that they're having another trauma experience. Besides them being maybe homeless or whatever's going on in their life, they're hurting their body and they're taking the life of an innocent child. So even though it su super is super, super hard to give your baby away, you got to try. You got to seek counsel you got to seek friendship, you got to seek something that's going to help you get through the birth of that child. Because later you don't want to go along and say, oh my gosh, I've had the hardest, worst life, I've been on the street, and years later you figure out that you ripped your baby apart. It's going to be so much more that you have to deal with as a person. But to know that you were strong and you sucked it up and you gave that baby a really good life, is going to be a check off and you're going to be like, I did that. I was able to do that for my baby. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You take care, ma'am.